When something small eludes our grasp, tweezers help us pick them up. They act as an extension of our forefinger and thumb, allowing us to grab and hold on to the tiniest things. First, a worker preps the tweezer mold by grinding and sanding around the tweezer-shaped cavity. This smooths the mold, making it easier to cut out the metal parts. A worker buffs the mold to give the surface a glossy finish. A computer-guided machine carves a die cutter out of a steel block. It uses an electrified brass wire to slice through the steel. The die cutter perfectly matches the tweezer mold. After the tools are prepped, they're ready to make the tweezers. A coil of thick stainless steel wire unwinds into the molding machine. Rollers straighten out the kinks. An automated device grabs the wire and pulls it between the die cutter and the mold. The die cutter pushes the wire into the mold and cuts out the shape it needs. The excess steel slides out and a spool collects it for recycling. The mold ejects the part into a bin. They are a little thinner at the gripping end. This design gives the tweezers more flexibility. An employee places two of the parts in an induction welder. He activates the welder to fuse it twice at the gripping end. A double weld reinforces the joint, making it very difficult to pull the tweezers apart. This welder assembles approximately 3,000 pairs of tweezers per shift. Each pair of tweezers is thoroughly polished to make them smoother and easier to grip. It's a multi-step process. First, an employee sands the body of the tweezers using fine abrasive paper and polishing cream. Next, the tweezers go into a vibrating polisher. They bounce around with ceramic stones and various polishing solutions for 24 hours. After that, they wash off the chemical residue. Then they filter and neutralize the water. Using another device, they shoot fine glass particles at the tweezers. This gives them a satin finish that's durable and resists scratching. A worker levels the tweezers' tips using a sanding belt. She makes sure the claw-like tips are exactly the same length and angle. Another member of the team sands the inside of the tips using a very fine abrasive disc. This will improve the tweezer's grip. The factory also makes carbon steel tweezers. They're a cheaper alternative to stainless steel. They immerse the carbon steel tweezers in a chrome solution to protect them from rust. The tweezer's electrical charge attracts the chrome. The result is a shiny and protective chrome plating. Next, an employee prepares the tweezers for laser lettering. She places them in a fixture and selects the image on her computer. She activates the laser and it permanently etches the graphics onto the metal. Next, she rubs special oil onto the surface of the metal and cleans the tweezers thoroughly. She also inspects the tweezers for any cosmetic flaws and makes sure they function properly.